Festival. Connor Prairie is taking to the skies. The new Jupiter Flights Balloon Festival kicks off tonight with a special event. And unfortunately for Alexis, that event is already sold out, but the fun doesn't stop there. See, I might have an end, though. Let's go ahead and send it back out to Randall Newsom. I'm sure he can find me something. Or somebody. To get We're gonna into see. This thing. We're gonna see if we can hook you up. We're gonna see if we can try to hook you up and slide you in some kind of way. We don't know yet. But this is the man to talk to. So Andrew, uh, yeah. Alexis is really trying to find her way into tonight, even though it's sold out. How do you feel about her chances? Well, you know what? Unless she's got another balloon that she's gonna use to get here and then drop down onto the property, I'm not sure she's gonna make it tonight. Mm. Out. So that's tough news. That's tough news. I, I did what I could. I tried to work my magic. But uh, speaking of uh, magic. I had no idea earlier when you said dirigible that that was an actual word. So uh, let, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, Randall. So what we do here, right, as we think about blending uh, history with STEM and with learning is we take a histemic approach to everything. And right, okay. it's this integration of play with learning. Dirigible, my friend, is a name for a balloon. So wow. it's another word for an airship. And so what we've done here with the 1859 Balloon Voyage exhibit is not only do we have a brand new balloon that you're going up 377 feet, in, we also have a brand new exhibit. This is a space for people to come in and actually learn about things like the word dirigible, right? Ooh. That this was a word for an airship uh, from the French word to steer. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I'm definitely learning something on this. Uh, you guys are, are big on combining the history with the fun for anybody in uh, any family to enjoy. Uh, what do you guys feel like is the coolest part about this exhibit? Well, that's a great question. You know, we know that there's only a few of us like me that wake up every morning excited to learn about history. So, yeah. Right? So we recognize that. So let's integrate a little bit of fun with it as well. And so what I love about this exhibit is the opportunity to understand the technology that it takes um, mm -hmm. both in 1859 as well as today to operate a balloon like this and to get into the mindset of John Wise who was the pilot of the original 1859 balloon voyage as it left uh, in Indiana for the first airmail delivery to New York City. Wow. So what I love in this exhibit is uh, we have represented him inside of the quotes uh, from the books that he wrote about that day and that voyage that he took and so students are going to come in, families are going to come in, they're going to get that hands-on experience where they get to learn and play and hopefully walk with a little bit of love of history, just like us. Awesome, guys. All right, well, unfortunately for our history buff, Alexis Rogers, uh, we couldn't work the magic for you. You're going to have to wait till next time. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can enjoy here, uh, including this cool new exhibit. I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, okay. Thank you, Randall.